Yo, what's up, guys? It's better welcome back to another video today. It's Chef Wesley versus Huntsfield Town. So, yeah, the international break has felt a bit longer than usual. It's been a while. Last match was QPR. We lost 2 1. Uh, that was very frustrating. I didn't even make a video on that because, well, I started the video, but I, I just I was so angry I just didn't want to make a video in the end. And, uh, yeah, so the international break's been long. England again wins, which is pretty good for England. Good looking for the uh, Euros, but anyway, all but all I really care about uh, instead of qualifiers is just league football. And finally, we're back, and uh, another away match, a new stadium. I've never been to the John Smith Stadium, so I can't really, I can't wait, I can't wait. It's, I'm really excited. Um, I think today we are gonna do quite well. I think we should beat Huddersfield. They're on really bad form. Our form is okay, it's very average, kind of inconsistent at the same time. Three wins, three, jo uh, three losses. Uh, now we have Gary Monk in. I was going to make a video talking about Gary Monk, but I literally, I, I didn't even know what to say about him, to be honest. Uh, I just I just really hope he does well, to be honest. Like we, We've needed a good manager for quite a while. We've got Steve Bruce, and then he trotted off. But yeah, hopefully Gary Monk can, uh, you know, bring back... Uh, a success to Wednesday we've been missing out in the past few years but anyway I can't wait, I think we're going to go get a win, 2-1 today, I think Huddersfield will get a goal um, I've already had a look at the lineups. our defence is not great, we're missing out on Lees again, which is kind of annoying and we've got our author playing centre back and he played terribly against QPR in centre back uh, but yeah that's why I think we'll concede one, but I think we'll score two to get the win but anyway let's get on to the rest of the lineup right guys on to the lineups now we have kieran westwood in goal uh lovely left back we've got palmer right back we've got odabaggio center backs we got um borna and i offer so yeah as i said i much prefer leads and center back to i offer as he doesn't really think he's a natural center back which isn't great for like mentality um then we got Bannon in midfield with Reach and Iorf. Not Iorf, I want to talk about Hutchinson. So Hutchinson, Bannon and Reach in the midfield. And then on the wings we have Leo Harris and uh, Mr. Jacob Murphy. Good wingers, hopefully they can do well today. And finally, striker alone, Fletcher. Get those headers in, hopefully. I hope that the wingers can do well today because they haven't really been showing up that much in the past few games. I, I, I just noticed that you know, like they haven't they've been making runs but we've just not been like good with the balls in the box or the dribbles past defenders or shooting so hopefully we can be a bit more clinical today today to not that uh, today get a few more goals that'll be that'll be much better so yeah two one I said now we're gonna head over to John Smith Stadium it's about a thousand yards away so a decent walk and uh, yeah I'll see you guys there. Let's head over now. Come on, Wednesday. So, guys, I'm back from the match now. Just incredible match, really. Uh, really enjoyed it. Uh, just at the goal, the first goal scenes with that limb scenes like and then the second goal as well it was just it was just amazing I, I really enjoyed it today uh yeah that's so I can say um first goal was absolute quality uh from the team in general went over to the side of Murphy Murphy gave it to Bannon in the middle who uh, got man of the match today uh passed it over to uh Kadeem Harris Kadeem Harris to step over takes on the Huddersfield uh, fullback and uh, there's like such a nice, such a nice cross again, dink cross straight onto Fletcher's head and it's it's an easy header for him and we make it 1-0 and then we we have a we have a few more chances in that first half, not not many clinical ones though so, uh, and then we're into the second half, we start off a bit slow in the second half, we weren't great uh, then I felt we got we felt more into the game. I think the tactic was to just like absorb all the pressure as possible um, in the start of the first half because we knew that Huddersfield were going to try and get 
a goal or so back. So once we absorbed all the pressure, we went on the counter attack, hit him on the counter attack. Um, Kadeem Harris um, took it onto the left. I don't know if it, it was like Palmer or Kadeem Harris. Yeah, passed it to Bannon, and it was just oh, it was such a nice ball into Winnell with a great header. Glanced, glanced it straight off to his right side, and it went posting in. Uh, it was close to missing. Um, I, I didn't think it was gonna miss, uh, but yeah, it, it, my dad thought it was gonna miss, but it is fine. It still went in, and uh, yeah, on again, just amazing celebrations. Uh, at that point, I think I knew that we were gonna go on and win the game because we had been solid for the past 20 minutes of the first half, and and then we just hot held on. We had a few more chances. Reach should have scored. It, it, he just like he shot and it was going top corner and I think like one of the Huddersfield players saved it was like his head to go up for a corner blocked it uh, that was really frustrating um, and then um, Palmer stormed into the box um, had a sh I think he had a, a shot but it looked like a more of a cross he hit it across the goal and Flash had just missed with the slide and it almost scored so that was really close as well and then we had another chance where Atty chested it down for a winnel and uh, the goalie saved it when he had a shot so that was that was there was loads of chances they could have made it 3-0 or 4-0 but this win takes us up to ninth place uh, we are above forest on i don't even know like yellow cards or something red cards because uh, we literally have the exact same goal scored and goals conceded ratio so uh yeah on 12 points so that means that we are five points behind Leeds in the top but I think they have 17 points yeah they do and uh, only a few points off the playoffs maybe even more I'm not sure I haven't checked it but yeah that is what it is um, yeah Gary Monk has made quite an impression um, to say the least came in he got a massive applause at the end of the game and uh, yeah I, I just well, I re I'm really, I'm really, uh, I, I didn't even know what to say about him when he first came, but now I think it's fair to say that he, he deserves a lot of respect from us now. If he carries on these performances and uh, and good managing sk skills and we keep winning games, then then definitely I'm going to be very uh, pleased and give him a lot of respect. So yeah, a few mentions. Bannon was great today. I think he probably did deserve. His run of the match, maybe Kadeem Harris should have got it instead. It was very close between them two. Those two were much, like, very much the best players today. Also, goal scorer Fletcher, he was fairly good today. Got a good goal and winner as well. Surprisingly, that's his first goal in like two years. From what I can remember, it like, like, tell me in the comments if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it has been like about two years, two seasons ago that he scored. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> uh, so he did actually surprisingly well today. He could have got second as well, and then um, I, I said Kadeem Harris and Bannon as well, and uh, I offer as well. Uh, he started the game pretty, uh, pretty badly, you know. He uh, passed it out for a corner. And he made us concede a corner because he passed it uh, to Westwood and missed past it. But uh, yeah, he started uh, pretty badly, and then. We managed to get the goal, the one that will lead in about 10 minutes. And then a few minutes after that, he, he just he felt more into the game, I feel. He started clearing it a lot more. Uh, he started um, tackling a lot more. He just seemed a lot more comfortable with the ball. And he just turned into a really good defender. And he was one of the reasons, same with Julian Bourne, of course. Because Julian Bourne, it seems that we always, always play well. Um, him and Julian Borner were just quality and uh, they stopped Huddersfield from scoring today. So yeah, I said 2-1 was 2-0. It's because I, uh, I really underestimated I offer. I thought it'd be um, a replica of what... I thought his performance would be a replica of uh, what it was against QPR, but it wasn't. Uh, surprisingly, but not bad surprisingly, good surprisingly. Uh, so yeah. That's been it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I definitely did because that was such a sick match. 
and um, yeah please do uh, leave a like down below if you enjoyed this one and I'll, I'll do more we've got Fulham next week and then the week after that we've got Mid Middlesbrough and we're going to go to both of them and I can't wait so uh, yeah um, please do hit that subscribe button if you're new Huddersfield fans and Chef Wednesday fans who are around 950 subs 940 subs just 50 or 60 more and we'll finally hit my dream goal of a thousand subscribers four digits that is crazy so yeah guys i'll see you in the next one peace